Hello everyone, my name is Corbin and this is Plan Basics. So in this video, I will show you how to do a Begonia Maculata um, Rescue. I do apologize by the way, when I shot the video, I decided to try a new angle and shot it into a window. And now I see that the contrast is a bit off, but I hope that you enjoy the video. Begonia maculata is a beautiful indoor begonia and it has this beautiful leaves I'm sure you, you all know with the polka dots here and the red underside that's why it's called polka dot begonia. Um, they can be beautiful indoor plants but they can also be a bit tricky um, they like bright indirect light, they like to be kept moist, they don't like direct sunlight and they also need a fair bark a fair amount of humidity. This one, you can see that there was three stems uh, planted in the spot. These two are dying, but this one seems to be doing uh, quite well. So I actually want to take this one out of the pot and pot it up on its own. Okay, so I'm going to remove this plant from the pot. This will also give us a chance to see what the root system looks like. Um, looks like a fairly healthy root system. Um, yeah, looks fairly healthy and I can see that this, um, this stem feels uh, soft and this one also so I'm actually going to break this apart and so that's the old part that, that we're going to discard and this is our new part. The roots seem fine so I'm not seeing any root um, issues. I think this plant was just a generally neglected and that's why part of it died off. Now I was thinking of planting it in a pot this size but I see that's going to be a bit of a stretch. So I'm going to go for a 15 centimeter pot um, and there's a lot of growing media already on here so I don't think that um, I'm going to be using a lot of mine but I'm just going to try and get some of the old media off the lower roots so that I can put some fresh um, media into the pot. As the plant has something you know, new and fresh to grow into and get some nutrients from. So I don't think there's a lot of nutrients left in this me um, media. Yeah, that seems fine to me. Begonias um, are plants that, that if they're grown indoors, they really need the bright light. I know some people say that they can be low light plants and I guess that's probably true in a way, but I feel like their leaves will get smaller, their stems will stretch, and they'll just not look that great. So always aim for a nice bright spot out of direct sunlight, um, and somewhere where there is some humidity. So let me just place my plant in the center. That seems perfect. I love this new shoot coming up here. So now what we do is we just fill in around this plant. One thing with begonias is that they are um, prone to um, powdery mildew on the leaves if you get the leaves wet and I think that's because they are in the same family as for example pumpkins and if, you, if you've ever grown pumpkins you also know that you don't want to get the leaves wet because it causes that mildew so always try to keep your life leaves of your plant dry but do try to increase the humidity so perhaps place your plant on a pebble tray or have a humidifier in the same space, but try to keep the moisture on the leaves to a minimum. So 
So I would not apply any fertilizer to this plant at the moment because the plant is in transplanting sh um, shock because I've now just taken the plant out of its old pot probably took off quite a bit of its root system so I want this plant to now first acclimate to its new um, pot and I'll probably only be fertilizing this plant in about um, two to three weeks time when I see new growth because this was on the plant when I transplanted so when I see new growth emerging I'll know that the plant is now starting to settle its roots and, and is starting to grow into the new media. I am going to give this plant a little bit of water. I'm actually going to place it in my grow space and kind of brightish height uh, close to the humidifier so that it can, can um, settle into a spot and hopefully grow. And my plan is to actually, as this plant grows, take cuttings and pot them into the same pot so that I can create a nice full um, pot of Begonium uh, Haculata. So this is how my plant looks now. It's about two and a half weeks later. Um, I don't think I planted this cutting in when we did this video the first time. I think this is about a few days afterwards. I planted this in there and I, if I feel on it, I can feel that it has started to attach into the soil. There's new growth on the cutting. There's also new growth on the original plant. So I'm very happy about that. I think this has turned out really, really well. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. Uh, please consider giving this video a like. Also, please subscribe if you haven't done so already and make sure to turn on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss any of my future videos. Bye.